Hey guys, I hope it's going good for you today. It's hot here in Canada. We're up at like 35, almost 40 degrees here. It is disgustingly unbreathable, sweaty weather. <laughs> That's gross. But yeah, it's not very fun here. So uh, my son went back to school yesterday and he's like, oh my God, mom, it's so hot. This is the hottest it's ever been for September. I'll tell you that. I don't know what's going on, but these heat streaks going on, it's... um. I don't know. I don't ever remember having them this long. I mean, it can get hot here, but this is something else. Um, I'm scared, actually, for winter. Uh, I hate to see what that brings. I just hope it's quick and goes away soon because it's so depressing. Anyway, so I uh, got some screenshots here from Mouth. And, of course, she's still running her mouth on the Ruby Frankie situation. So I'm just going to read these. I have a new video out on the Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt case. This will be about both women, including allegations by neighbors. So um, that to me sounds like she's got her fingers in with the neighbors and they actually spoke to her. But the thing is, it's just not true. Her whole journalism career is a facade. Nobody contacts her. Nobody speaks to her. She's very unliked. So I don't understand why she keeps up this charade. It's bullshit. So she says, uh, Jody's former clients speak out. Okay, well, that's not the neighbor. A lawsuit without a crystal ball discovered against Jody by a client, which is damning. Again, that's not the neighbor's. We go into the charges, but this will spend more time on Jody and her influence on the clients, which ends up destroying families. Please check my stories for the link or click the link in the bio. I'm good, thanks. And then there's this. Ruby Frankie, therapist Jody Hildebrandt's uh, former clients speak out. She's a cult leader that destroys lives. Ruby Frankie's involvement with therapist cult leaders lands her six felonies. Neighbors and family speak out. New video. She's making it sound like she's interviewed these neighbors herself. And as well as um, the, ser the therapist's, like, clients. And that's just not true. It's not true. And I really wish people would start calling her out more. This is ridiculous. This is a money grab for KJ. That's all she cares about. It's gross. Then she says... Ruby and Jody were extremely homophobic and consumed. Yeah, okay, sorry. So this is posted because she's trying to say that she is not trying to find um, a connection between the two women of having a lesbian relationship. But I showed you the uh, screenshots I had with her actually claiming that it was inappropriate that they were together and living together. And um, she just pretty much said that it was a lesbian relationship. In other words, you know what I'm saying? So then she says, Ruby and Jody were extremely homophobic and canceled parents not to enable their LGBT children. Ruby wrote in a common intergroup, man and women lawfully joined in marriage is the only honest relationship where two souls can truly share themselves sexually. I don't agree with that. Anything outside of a connected marriage of a man and a woman is dishonest, lustful, and destroys the soul. My internet is not, <laughs> I mean, my interest is not regarding any intimacy between these two. Yes, it is, Katie. You totally implied that. People are calling you out for it because you are disgusting. But rather the ethical violation of a therapist becoming this intertwined with a person that was once a patient. Messages can be sent via DM on Facebook or Instagram. Email tips at withoutacrystalball.com. Whatever you do, if you watch my video, do not give this woman anything. She will dox you. If she doesn't get what she wants from you, she'll pull your fucking financials. Any money that you owe, anything. She's disgusting. So this is some bullshit. Um, what, what do you need to know about them two living together? It's already out there. They live together, so what? And if you're not claiming they're lesbians, then what the hell more information do you need? You don't need it. You're just sick. And you're implying shit that's not real. Then she says, Ruby Frankie's charged with... Ch According to a Washington County attorney and a statement to NBC News. Oh, yeah, get this. She's claiming NBC News is wrong. Each count carries a sentence of up to 15 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Both Ruby and Frankie and Jody Hildebrand are charged for two minor victims and six 
counts total. Both women have obtained legal representation and will be arraigned on Friday, September 8, 2023. Like she's writing this from a journalist standpoint, which she's not. And like she knows everything, which she doesn't. Then she says, NBC News is wrongly reporting that two children have been hospitalized and the other four are in protective custody. Ruby's two youngest children remain hospitalized. Her 14 and 16 year old are in protective custody. Ruby has two adult children that are not in DCFS custody. Wow, Mouth, you, f you know everything, right? You know all. And she said, there are two juvenile victims in these cases, and each defendant is accused of causing or permitting serious physical injury to the victims in three different ways. And of course, she lists one, two, and three. She's disgusting. She loves that torture fucking word. I'll tell you that. This idiot literally says this. Friends, you don't have friends. My interview with Fox 13 Now was part of their evening news. It was broadcast live as part of their local evening news. No, it was uploaded to YouTube. That was about it. Anyways, my contribution was to answer questions about my experience covering Ruby. Yeah, I only see one video of you covering Ruby, and it was, what, 11 minutes long, I believe? And it was retarded. It was stupid. Harassing the news outlet and falsely accusing me of crimes to them only shows your jealousy and vindictiveness. Go outside and touch grass. They came to me. Okay, they didn't come to you. There's no way in hell I'll ever believe that. Not only that, you're telling us to go touch grass. You guys look like vampires because you never leave your house. Sorry, I said the R word. I just realized I did. It kind of slipped. Sorry, guys. Um, go touch grass. Yeah, okay. I think you need to take your own observations here in your own bullcrap and go outside and you touch grass. Let your child outside. Let them breathe. Take your animals for a walk. Go for a swim. Stop sitting on the internet 24-7. And shame on you, Todd, for allowing this bullcrap behavior. You're part and parcel. So when she goes down, you go down with her. And the only person that ever suffers in this is going to be V. All right, you guys, you have a great night and let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. I have so much stuff here. All right, bye guys.